Hey y'all, it's your girl Kimberly J. Um, today is February the 3rd, I believe. It's like 5 something in the morning. I've been up all night. Compliments of my insomnia. So I thought I'd just log on and make a video. I'm not really sure if I have a particular topic to stick to. Sometimes I jump all over the place and this will probably be one of those videos. Um, honestly, I hadn't been making um, videos in a little while because I hadn't been very inspired um, and truthfully had a lot on my mind still do but you know you live and you learn you you try to take things a day at a time and just keep on moving on um, but you know one thing also I want to put out there is that um, if you're lucky enough to have people in your life or people around you who you know love you unconditionally, have your back, will support you, will be there for you through thick and thin, and um, will not only say that they love you, but show you the love. You need to keep those people close and appreciate them and thank God for them every day. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a few people like that in my life, and they are, to me, God's angels and gifts to me, and without whom I don't know where I'd be sometimes. So, um, you know, acknowledge and show love to the people who have your back in your life because life is short. You know, people are leaving here every day. And we just need to, I think, appreciate and, and enjoy each moment of our own lives and also appreciate the time and cherish uh, the moments we have with those the, those that we love. Okay? So that's first things first. Um, second thing is I've been having these discussions. Um, with quite a few people lately um, and one of my brothers from another mother <laughs> he knows who he is uh, was always asking me why are you single why are you single why are you single and I keep telling people the same reason oh, I'm single blah 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 um, trying to get over a, a previous relationship and the funny thing about love is Love does really doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And it kind of, your heart does what it wants to do. So, um, I haven't been really feeling the dating scene um, at the same time. I have considered some things, and I think a lot will change for me in the future when I do cross that bridge. But for now, I am single by choice, definitely. Um, because I'm trying to work some things out, basically. So, but what's what I found interesting, and one thing also, they always say never say never, right? Well, I used to say that I would, at least in my adult years, because, you know, high school, I don't know if that counts. But um, <laughs> I got to a point where I was like, um, I have a preference. It's not a prejudice. It's just a preference. I love black men love them hands down I love my people um no disrespect to any other race I'm not you know not racist prejudiced but I just love my people and my preference is to be with a black man if I'm going to be with a black man in a romantic you know relationship that's my preference I do think however that I'm not going to limit myself in the future you know when it comes time for me to cross that bridge I have been considering that I'm gonna you know I'm a true believer that, you know, love is where you find it and it doesn't always, it doesn't have a color on it. Um, like I said, although my preference is black men, I am not going to limit myself to black men in the future whenever I do decide to start dating. I've been getting approached by so many different races of people, ethnicities and cultures and it's kind of been mind blowing because I, I don't know really what's spurring it on um i mean obviously right now this is a wig <laughs> um you've seen my hair i've rocked my natural hair quite a bit so you know this isn't me uh, i just put this on for the video i hadn't actually put a wig on in several months now i have and i definitely haven't gone outside with wigs on since like october okay and we're in february so kudos to me but i put this on because my hair is wet underneath here i twisted it and it's not ready to be taken down, so 
I just put this on so I could record the video. So anywho, on to my point. So I don't look like this when I go outside anymore. I haven't been wearing wigs. I've been wearing my natural hair, which you've seen in previous videos if you've watched any. Um, but one thing I noticed is that since I started rocking my natural hair, it seems like I'm more attractive to white guys and Persian guys and Hispanic guys. And it's kind of been eye-opening for me. Because I get more attention from black men when I'm like this, um, with the wigs on, which I find to be totally ironic because I'm like, I would think that I get more love from my brothers, you know, when I'm rocking my natural hair than from other races. But for some reason, it seems like other races, at least so far in my experiences, are appreciating the natural look. A lot more and maybe that's why I'm getting approached I don't know but it's been kind of funny at first I thought somebody was playing a joke on me I was just like all these people are coming at me like all these white guys Hispanic guys per Persian guys it's been kind of interesting so that's why I say I'm a little more open in a lot of ways I'm, I'm I've been exploring and uh, just kind of getting out there and trying to be more open to new experiences and trying new things um, and having some fun, you know. I think sometimes you can just go through life and just kind of exist. You know, it's something I actually heard. I think it was in a movie. Um, I heard a lady say, are you living or are you existing? And I actually had to think about that. I was like, hmm. Good question, because I think for a lot of a lot of the time I was just existing. I don't think I was living. I was just going through the motions. You know, I got to do this. I got to do this. Okay, this, 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 this. All these routines. I never took time to just try something new. I was too afraid to step out and and do things that were outside of my norm. So I've been having some fun and trying different things at the same time. You know, I'm gonna be me, and I'm gonna do what I feel comfortable doing. I've, I've never been a follower in the sense of uh, being impressionable, like people can pressure me into something. No. If I do something, it's because I want to do it, you know. So if I follow my face doing it, I accept full responsibility for it, and I'm good. But um, what else I want to say? Oh. No. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm not going to edit this, so just bear with me. I'm just rambling, random thoughts, whatever. But I really just wanted to check in and, and just see how everybody else is doing out there. Let you know I'm okay. Um, hanging in there. <laughs> uh, wow. Don't know what else to say. So... I guess this is going to be the end.